Um, we were doing a documentary on people who drive trucks, and we were wondering if we could ask you a few questions. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm Jesse. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Brittany. <laughs> okay. Ask me. Okay. <laughs> um, so how long have you been driving trucks for? 12 years. And what, what got you started driving trucks? Money. I hate it, but it pays good, so... Uh, needed to make money. Started looking at the paper for at one ads and saw a truck driving and said, hey, <laughs> money. All right. I was bored. <laughs> I, was, I was straight up bored. Yeah, I did the military thing, did the Europe thing, I did warehouse, I did a security guard, taxi cab driver. Um, I just, you know, and I, I was like, hey, I'm going to see the country. So I went to truck school, met him. And, Driving, love it. We were curious as to how the um, trucking industry has changed since you started. And how long have you been doing it? 31 years. 52. Uh, it's, I would say the biggest changes are driver attitude. A lot more younger people doing it today. And they get pitched through schools and it's about the money. A lot of people don't realize it's like diesel fuel is always more expensive than gasoline. Diesel fuel is a byproduct of gasoline. They used to throw it away before they had diesel engines. They can't make gasoline without making diesel fuel. So the reason it's more expensive is because of all the taxes that we pay. They're okay. They're they're nice guys. They're misunderstood. I think. I think they're treated unfairly. You know, just with the trucker in industry, I think they're treated unfairly. A lot of how sad? Because a lot of people don't realize what the trucking industry does for America, you know. And I think they're just, they got a bad reputation. I don't think they get treated in their pay and the gas. I just don't think they're, they're treated right. So we don't appreciate them enough, I don't think. You know? We wouldn't have hardly anything if it wasn't for truck drivers. So. What is your load? Like, what do you guys carry? Like, what do you ship? Sometimes we have no idea. <laughs> I mean, any anything. Really? Uh, us personally, anything that could be carried in a drive van, 53 foot van. Pretty much anything you see at Walmart, the malls, industrial things, you name it, we pretty much carry it. Yeah, laundry detergent, soap, paint, stain, uh, doors, windows, dog food, dog food, cat food, sinks, whatever. I mean, literally, go through Walmart and anything that's not food, we've pulled it. A lot of factors, you know, that makes this job very stressful. Back in the, uh, I started like eight days, eight years ago, but I quit for a year because I couldn't take it anymore. I was sick, my stomach was sick. I mean, shaking all the time and not eating properly because the, the food, as you can see, is trash. How do you feel like truck driving has been affecting your health? Oh, um, I'm 34. I have very a whole lot of gray hair. I mean, lots of gray hair. That's from staying up and running hard, working 20 hours a day every day for years. Um, I'm fat. It's from sitting around and eating junk food all the time. You know, you can't get a lot of exercise or healthy food. I try to fix a lot of my own food in the truck. I've got a microwave, refrigerator, all kinds of stuff to fix food. Sometimes you just get tired of that and you want to go eat at the McDonald's and the Wendy's or I ain't got time. I'll just stop in here and grab something to go. You're always eating on the go. You never take time. Um, what kind of places do you like normally come to to eat? And to, is it normally truck stops? It's normal truck stops, man. Normal truck stops like a TA, Petro, because all the old mom and pop places are just about gone. I mostly listen to Howard Stern and Bubba Love Sponge. Other than that, we've got a TV and a PlayStation 2, so we can watch movies, play Are you games. Serious? Yeah. How do you keep control of the truck? Well, you don't do it while you're driving. <laughs> we have remote control for the truck. <laughs> yeah, I wish. How do you stay up, Matt? Well, it's, it's like everything else in life you get used to. I mean, at the beginning, oh. I couldn't do it. But now I can drive two days straight. For that. And I don't have to take, take anything, it's just will. With the will, you have to do stuff, you know? And you just want to go home. 
Well, in the old days, that's what we took drugs for. People took pills. We call them doing bennies to stay awake, and it was used just for your job. Today, it's become. Uh, let's all have a party. You go in truck stops and you see cops. Uh, the cops are always in the truck stops. You can't sleep because the cops are always in the truck stops. Somebody's got drugs, or you have prostitutes all over the place, and they're knocking on your door and keeping you awake. So, what do you say? I've tried to get out of driving, but I can't make the money. I'm not a college graduate. I didn't graduate high school. You know, I can make a really good living for my family. You know, I provide for them. It's all about them, not me. I don't, my little girls and my wife, it's all that matters, you know, so that's why I do. But you can make a decent living. You don't get rich by any means, but you do all right. I've got friends that have went to college that I make fun of. Them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So do you see yourself doing this for this is a lifelong endeavor? I hope not. But probably is. Yes.